start with clear washing the paper. Next, you take your round brush and I want you to pick a nice blue, not too dark, uh, not too light. This is a really nice sky blue. And notice how all the paint fades into the wet. Okay, so after I added the blue, now I'm going to add a little bit of darker colors, a purple in here, because I kind of like purplish skies. And I'm going to put some strokes. Before this dries, you have to be pretty quick. Use a tissue or a towel, a paper towel to add your clouds. You've basically taken out colors now. So let me show you. I'm gonna add a little cloud over here by dabbing into the color and taking away paint. See how it's sucking up the paint? You kinda need to clean it in between. You could use a sponge for this too, a small sponge though, because you don't wanna have a ginormous large cloud in here. I wanna put several clouds in here. Yeah, I like this cloud. What I start with is I'm gonna put actually, I hope you can see this, sort of a long line here and put a cross. It's like a plus, just the bottom. This line is longer than every other line. And then I'm gonna connect these four ends. Here. And then guess what we're gonna put um, from here. Actually, you know what? The line is usually attached to this here. So this is where I'm gonna put the line in. And in here, I'm gonna have a nice tail. And then I'm gonna put some nice little bows into the tail or attached to the tail. You can add whatever you like. And Next, you can decide now how you want to color this in. You can use colored pencils to color in your kites. 
you could use watercolors or even markers. I decided that I'd like to color my kites in with watercolors. Um, I do have some nice examples so you could use markers which would be here's an example where I colored my kites in with markers. I have an example where I used colored pencils so you could use colored pencils to color in your kites. And this one here I'm going to do with watercolors. First I'm going to put in a little pattern. I'd like to have little patterns in my kites. So this one here I'm gonna put in one, two. So grab your paintbrush and let's get started with red. So I'm picking up my red, not too much water, but lots of paint. And then let's fill this in with red. I finished my first kite and I noticed how the colors kind of lead into each other. I don't mind, I like it. It's kind of fun to watch this happening. in here. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Oh wow. I think that was more water than paint. Yeah, this is already oversaturated. This is too much water. I'm going to take out some water with a dry brush. It's too much too much water and paint in there. So let's try the yellow dots now. I also notice how these colors are not quite as bright as if I use markers in this art project. If I color in my kites with markers, then the colors come out a lot brighter. Oh, this is kind of cool too. That is fun. Yeah, I'm gonna let this dry. Okay, let's continue with the tail here and then I'm gonna color in this part as well. 